If you're a woman over 50 and you love drugstore makeup that feels like luxury, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and I have an amazing guest with me today, pro makeup artist, Matthias Allen. Matthias, we're so glad you're here today, and you're going to share five products that seem like luxury, but they're drugstore. Yeah, you know, I am so glad that I'm here on your channel. I'm so excited. I've been watching you for years. I'm so happy to be collaborating with somebody like you. So thank you for having me on your channel. Well, I have watched your career. My daughter and I watched you way back when you were on TLC on Dare to Wear. That was an amazing show. We love that show. And then you have been on E. You've worked for E. It's I mean, unbelievable. I've been, doing this, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I'm a professional makeup artist and hairstylist. So I saw that YouTube was a way for me as a makeup artist to not only showcase what I can do and how to transform women, um, but also to kind of move into a new direction and share my vision for empowering women on a wider audience. So that's what I'm here on YouTube to do. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If anyone's interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one session with me through Zoom or in person, you know, you can go to my website and figure out all that out. But I'm excited to share with you some of my drugstore value price products because I know this is one of your favorite series to do on your channel, Lux for Less. I love it. So I pulled out some products that I, I, I too have been loving the last couple of years, but um, I want you to go first because it's your channel. So what are some of your products that you're loving this week? Well, let me show you this palette. I'm in love with this palette. It's from e.l.f. It is amazing. I'm wearing it now on my eyes and it is as good as any palette that I have that I've paid 50 or $60 for. Now Elf did send me this and I was super excited because Elf is known as a brand for mostly younger women. So they asked if they could send me a couple of products and I've used Elf for over 10 years, a long time since they were came out because, hey, they had dollar lipsticks. Wow. And the great thing about a dollar lipstick is you can try a shade and it's not a bummer if it doesn't yeah. work for you, right? It's a buck. Exactly. exactly. So I used to buy a lot of their shades and try them out to see how they would work on my coloring and if I would like them or not, and then maybe buy one a little more expensive in that shade. So it was sort of like samples for me in a way. You know, but what I found is so many of the products were great that I didn't need to go buy something else, that they really worked beautifully. But these shadows, I've bought a lot of e.l.f. shadows over the years. These are the best. And this palette's called the New Classics. That's and really, isn't it beautiful? And it goes with everything that's popular right now for fall. Uh, they have a lot of neutrals. And I know from watching your videos, you love these shades like for the crease. I do. I do. And they're mattes. Oh, These I are mattes. I love that. So it's got mattes and shimmers. And I think they really work for a mature woman. So I love I totally these. agree. I love those colors. I love those neutral tones, those taupes, those grays. Um, kind of, the, oh my God. Okay, so I have a palette. And this is a very affordable palette. This is from a brand called Milani. So I'm sure you've, re you've reviewed some Milani in your past. This is the Gilded Nude Palette. And look, it's almost the same exact yeah. color story, which I love, the kind of those neutral colors, but um, a little bit of pop of an aubergine, a little bit of a plum, some kind of lilac-y pinks. And this palette is also really, really, really nice. A little bit goes a long way. And this is, you know, I just love, I love that you can travel with this too. If you're going on a weekend trip, it's smaller than the e.l.f. palette. So maybe if you're looking for something that yeah. hits more into the palm of your hand and you don't want to travel with that big e.l.f. palette, maybe the little Milani one would be good for you. Okay, what's next? Absolutely. And you know what? I have that palette and I love it. So I'm glad it got your stamp of approval yeah. because it's one of my favorites too. Milani makes beautiful shadows. Yeah. Really beautiful. Now this is a highlighter that's new for me that I had never used before. Uh, the last couple months I've had it. It's from Coco Kind. And I just love it. Look at the shade of this. Wow. Just beautiful. Can I see it on your hand? Absolutely. And I'm going to show you. I have it on my cheek 
right now. Ooh. But take a look. Wow. Now, does it feel like a satiny, like soft rose petal, or does it feel creamy and dewy? It feels dewy. Yeah. It does feel dewy. But once I put it on my skin, because I put it on probably an hour ago, I don't feel it anymore. It's just sort of in my skin. And it's not too overly bright, where I feel like I could tap a little of this on and actually wear it during the day out. And it would just give me a more youthful look. I think one of the problems, uh, you know, of course, as we get older, the drier skin is one of our biggest problems. So adding something like this on the cheekbone takes away from that dry look yep. and gives more of a dewy look. So that's what I like about this. And it's very inexpensive. And with this much product, this would last me another lifetime. Oh my gosh, forever. So, so I'll stay on the highlight train. Um, I have okay. a highlight that I actually love. Now, this is a little blinding for somebody who is more mature, maybe over 50. However, I wanted to bring it out because it's very affordable. It's from CoverGirl. It's their full spectrum CoverGirl Sculpt Expert. And this is in the shade Bronze Flame. So the reason wow. I brought this out is because it's a three pan highlighter. Um, actually, I think the one on the bottom is a little bit more of a kind of a rosy bronzer, and the t these two are more of a highlighter. Now, they are very, 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 very shiny. So these might be good for somebody under 40 who doesn't have a lot of texture or fine lines. However, I have a little trick that I like to teach my women when I'm, te when I'm working with them one-on-one. -on -one. So if you take highlighter and you put that on your face like this, and it's feeling like, uh-oh, that is way too shiny for my skin. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? You can very easily just take a little bit of like a pressed powder and just press powder over on top of that and like buff it into the skin. And what you're doing is you're almost adding like a, like a layer or a filter of powder over that. So then it softens and diffuses that. And bonus, this is the <laughs> Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. So this is also a very affordable line. I love looking at Catrice on Ulta.com. A lot of times they'll even be on sale. I don't know why they put this on sale. It's probably $4.99 to start, and then it goes half off, so you're saving so much money. And this little prep and prime mattifying powder is fantastic. I love that. What a great tip, and I have tried that powder. It's amazing. I love Catrice there. I talked uh, about a week ago about their one minute pay, uh, face perfecter they have. It's a primer. Yeah, and it have was kind of, an orangey, kind of like an orangey almond color. Yes, yeah. and it's very moussey. Sometimes I forget to even put foundation on when I put that on. Like if I go this? and work on my eyes. Really? It really looks amazing. And I have rosacea and it will actually take away the red. And you were mentioning in your video on your channel that it's keeping your makeup on underneath the mask you have to wear. Absolutely. I have, you know, for a while I wasn't wearing primer. I just felt like it wasn't helping me out. But then with the mask wearing, I was getting so many breakouts. Uh, it was flaring up my rosacea terrible. I would just have a line of broken area where the mask wow. hit. So by using the primer, uh, it just was a game changer. It really helped me. I love that tip. I love that tip. Yeah. Okay, so what's next? Well, next let's talk about uh, lips. Okay. Now, I was looking at your website, okay? okay? And I have never seen such gorgeous lips. You do lips beautiful. I'm wondering, like the colors you got on their lips. I was looking at some of the photo ads and stuff were like, uh, lilac, like shades they don't make in a lipstick. Yeah. The blending that you did just blew my mind. It really did. Well, we're going to do, we're gonna have to do a one-on-one. -on -one. Anytime you're, you're interested, we can do a one-on-one -on -one through Zoom, and maybe we'll take bits and pieces of it and show it on your channel. Oh, I would love that. Okay. I would love that because I was going, the red carpet looks, I was looking at all the different lips on the women that you did. Gorgeous. You know who you remind me of right now? Speaking of red carpet, you remind me of Kira Sedgwick. 
I have had people tell me that at school before. She's married to Kevin Bacon. She's been with him for like 30 years. She's an amazing actress in her own right. She's headed, she's headed her own shows, I know, on, on network television. But I haven't seen her in a few years. And when you said some of the red carpet um, clients that I've worked on on my website, I was like, oh, Kira Sedgwick, uh, you remind me of her. I love that. Yeah, and she's also from the South. I think she uh, also has a little bit of a twang. And now she's just foot loose. And now she's totally <laughs> foot loose. So what, what lip color are you going to share with me? Well, this is really cool. I'm it? loving this. It's from a company called Parapara. And I'm wearing it right now. Wow. And it is like velvet on your lips. It's so hard to describe. It's like a mousse. Okay. And what I love about it with all the mask wearing, you know, it's so hard to keep a lipstick on. Yeah. And so I've been wearing this when it first goes on, it is wet, but then it dries down. It, I would say the Maybelline, the stay put stays a little longer, but I like the feel of this better. Interesting. This is less drying. It's a little more moisture. They have amazing colors. And those of my subscribers that watch all the time know, like, I'm scared of a red lip. I'm really scared of it. And I don't like it on myself. But I went for it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that's funny. Is this the Maybelline you were talking about? I love that. Okay, because it's fo I had this waiting. This was my lip luxury for last that I was going to bring up, and you just talked about it. I actually discovered this through a fellow YouTuber who we all know and love, Nikki Tutorials. She oh, did a yes. video about a year and a half ago uh, where she said uh, waterproof makeup or something, or or let's let's put this waterproof makeup to the test. And the thumbnail she used was her like going scuba diving or something silly. So I clicked on the video and I watched it and she actually used these Maybelline Superstay matte inks. She used them as cream eyeshadows. And I thought, oh my gosh, wow. if that stays on her eye while she goes scuba diving, I've got to try that. So I went out and bought a few. I used my mom as a guinea pig, of course. Mama Linda's always on my channel. And um, I put one of these on my mom's lip and it stayed through dinner. It stayed through, she sleeps in her makeup. So it was on the next morning. Like, I love these Maybelline Super Stay inks, but I agree with you. I've put these on my lip, too, and they're they're not super comfortable. They're not horrible. Like, I'm not chipping off my lip at the end of the night, but they're, you know, quite drying and stuff, but the lasting power on these is awesome. It is. It passes the school test. Yes. Yeah. That's where the teacher puts it on at about four in the morning when she wakes up. And it's still there at six at night when she comes home. Well, this was amazing, Matthias. I never dreamt I would have a pro makeup artist on my channel and you are just fabulous. I can't wait to uh, be with you more often on videos because you have so much to give the mature women. I've watched all a lot of your tutorials that you do with the women, especially your mom. Your mom's in her seventies, right? Yeah, she's in her 70s. She's my favorite model to work on. I call her, everyone knows her as Mama Linda. And she will be on my channel very soon. I have tons of stuff I've already filmed with her. So that's coming out. And I am definitely coming back on your channel. So let's plan that out in a few weeks, maybe around the holidays or Halloween time. That would be amazing. And um, yeah, if you want to go check out the Monday makeup chat I did with Laura Ray, that's coming out in two days on my channel. So go check it out. Absolutely. And you had a lot of great tips that you shared, so they won't want to miss it. Yeah. Also, well, uh, I wanted to mention, I'm going to link a couple of your videos underneath my video today that I feel really would give a wealth of knowledge. All your videos do, but especially these for mature women, you did one where you talked the real talk about concealers. Mm. There's just so much shamalama ding dong out there about concealers. And you gave the real deal, and that's the most real talk I've ever heard about what it's like. And you talked about working on celebrities and what it's like when they're under the lights 
Yeah. And how the makeup doesn't just go on and last 24 hours. No, 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 it doesn't. And whether you're a celebrity or a, a model or you're just somebody who's an attorney and I'm working or with you. Or a teacher. You, or a teacher <laughs> and I'm working with you at like eight in the morning and we have to shoot some kind of an ad or a video and you're in your makeup for 12 hours. Like, I have to go and touch you up. You know, it's like we're hired as little makeup angels to come around and follow you around with a powder puff and this and that. So I kind of go into the details about that and how women need to have, ex you know, proper expectations about what's what's really going to stay on all day and not move. And I appreciated your honesty because it made me feel better about how I do my makeup and why there are issues sometimes and that I do have to at lunch when I see myself in the mirror touch up. Yeah. And that I can't expect to leave in the morning and come home with it perfect without doing something during the day to my makeup. So yeah. I, I'm sure my subscribers will appreciate that. And I hope they'll go over to your channel, subscribe. They can learn so much from you, just like I have. And I hope that everybody comes and joins our brand new Facebook community that you are a brand new beauty expert on. It's called Find Your Beauty Over 30. <laughs> I have a panel, a team of beauty and skincare and fitness experts. And Laura Ray just joined my team. So she and I are going to be doing some Facebook Lives over on that community. We're going to put a link to that down below here on your channel so everybody can come join. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great week.